It's very important for people to have a place to go and meet other artists and live somewhat fearlessly. No one really knows about this place, even though it sits right on top of the famous Carnegie Hall. It's like a secret bohemian village. Peter's on one side, the north side, with the light. The other side, the musicians don't care about the light. And everybody was happy. It was marvelous. This was the first home I ever had in my whole life. And go left, 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 arms up, and a turn. Some of the things in my soul came forward and probably wouldn't have in any other place. It's more interesting to live under fascinating, involving circumstances than your mundane fucking lives. Which is part of why people want to act. I was on that. I don't know my dark room. The, the studios are there for artists to live and work. Look at me here. When I first moved in Carnegie Hall, 51 years I've been here. I came here as a, t a teenager. It's supposed to be the Duchess of Carnegie Hall. The place was not built on power, it was built on love. And it went on for almost a century. I never wanted a home. I wanted a studio, you know, a working studio. It looks like Christmas. Uh. <laughs> then something happened. Carnegie Hall planning a $150 million renovation of an historic residential tower. Well, now the iconic music hall wants those artists out. They're very special places and they are proposing to destroy it. Leases have been terminated, dancers have been evicted, acting teachers have been evicted, photographers have been evicted. They are going to demolish everything but the stairwells. Oh no. It's over. None of them seem to have, have the knowledge that there really is a kind of community here. You can't buy that. And I hope you can't sell it. <laughs>